Visit BuddySmokingProducts.com for your special offer. We're back in the basement at a special time. It's uh, two fifteen here on the West Coast. It's four fifteen and very close to four twenty in uh, the Central Time Zone. So Texas and a bunch of other places. <laughs> and uh, we got Greg Proops is back, but first timer, <laughs> first timer Michael Ian Black is in the house. I gotta not say in the house. I, it just feels in the wrong. House. It feels okay. That's better. Well, well, he's, yeah, in, he's in the his house. You're shooting Arsenio in the '80s. Yeah, yeah. I, but it's so. It's, I'm so comfortable with it, even though I'm I think so very, it. so very white. I'm. Uh, I've been dreading this. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, let's let's get into your backstory really quickly because I, it might have been how many years ago at Bumbershoot that you said to me, Doug Benson. Get me high. I don't know how. Right. I can never get high. It doesn't work for me. Right. And we went out onto a nice patio. Gorgeous. We had a, uh, a pipe or something, and uh -huh. we loaded it up, and he took a bunch of hits, and I watched him do it. Mm -hmm. and then... A great group of kids all around us, mm -hmm. mostly uh, oh, seven to ten years old. And sure. They were, they were wait, cheering us wait on. Wait a second. They are so fun to get high with. What's the, <laughs> is there a statute of limitations on uh, smoking weed with seven-year-olds? Well, you know, they might be a lot older now. They might be 12 or 13. Sure. And probably cool. Yeah. No, yeah. they weren't smoking. They were eating the, the edibles, the gummies. Oh, okay. And uh, well, that you, makes it better. <laughs> yeah. At the end of this, at the end of this session, uh, where I I felt perfectly high, you said this just did not work. And have you have you never tried again since? No, I have a few times. Uh, it's always. No, I feel like I've done it a couple times where it's been just too much, and then the other times it's just, just nothing. I haven't found. I haven't found the middle ground where it's Well, enjoyable. welcome back to too much. Right. Because that's what you're going to be experiencing today. And pe Woo. people will love it. People will be very uh I was asking Greg how, uh, exactly how to use the paraphernalia outside because I didn't want to look like an idiot. But then I just realized in talking about asking Greg, I'm, I, people will now know that I yeah, just... Yeah, a calm, supportive atmosphere. It's very... <laughs> don't, don't, don't read what people are saying underneath. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we try to be uh, very supportive. And um, also, that's... We've already explained that you're not really a, a regular smoker. Right. So if you don't know how to operate anything, that that, that just goes with the territory. Right. And uh, we'll, all, we'll all laugh at you. But um, I think you're going to be fine. It's I already feel almost. great. Okay, good. Well, at least you've you've got that uh, you've broken through that barrier. The first time you get smoke it, you usually don't get high. It takes a couple times to. Well, but that wasn't the first time with Doug. I think I said to you, Doug, every time I do it, nothing happens. Yeah, so and let's then make it happen. And I, then it didn't I happen. couldn't even make it happen. Wow. And it was and you're like Seattle wizard. weed. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And it was weird because he was like, I think if you just suck my dick for a while, you will get high. Yeah, it seems it seems like that it always works when I'm with the ladies, because they always wow. they're always passed out <laughs> from uh, from my indica dick. Um, <laughs> uh, so that's what we're gonna like. We'll just try to stick with sativas for you today. I don't even know Do what you that have, is. You're in you're in. Uh, I don't La know. Wait, tell me You're in Los is. Angeles for some important stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. where are you going from here? Some sort of I got a thing meeting? With, I got, yeah, I got a thing with Spielberg right after this. Yeah, so you're going to get completely <laughs> fucked up for your Spielberg meeting. You know, because I, I really want, wish you well in your pitch for War Horse 2. <laughs> <laughs> this time it's horsier. <laughs> <laughs> Horsing around. <laughs> um, all right. Well, we'll try. To, we'll try to be gentle. But what was the uh, word that you just said? It wasn't sativa. sativa. What does that mean? That's uh, there's basically two different uh, types, two two main strains of marijuana: sativa or indica. And sativa is more, by most people's uh, account, it's more um, a thoughtful, up, mm. thinking man's high. <laughs> and uh, indica. Is that what you prefer? No. Uh, indica is just. Indica. Hits you harder, and you probably uh, are enjoying dabs. I would imagine. I don't dab so much, as but I'll mix a little bubble hash in with the uh, indica and see where that goes. Yeah, right. And I do like the pre-rolled ones that have a lot of hash in them. <laughs> I find those get me right where I need to be. 
Oh, and uh, speaking of rolling, uh, people on, are always begging for the guests to roll one, All and right. none of my guests, you, you and I can't do it, but uh, would you like to uh, roll one up? I'd be with... chuffed beyond measure, Doug. Thank you right. for asking. And this is this is a sativa, though, so we'll uh, we'll make sure you also get to uh, smoke some of the indica we have today. The indica is called blue cheese. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, and it's. Uh, and do you have a, do you have a good. special place that you go to to get this stuff, or do you have do you just wherever? Um, we have various uh, dispensaries that mm -hmm. help us out. I have one that I go to regularly. That's that what I just meant. Are you like, regular? Are you, are you like, are you like the norm of a Cheers dispensary? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, because the people don't really hang out inside. Uh -huh. no, they At least don't. in the LA ones, they don't. No, like, they buy. Like in San Francisco, they have like you know they have volcanoes and uh, vaporizers set up in some of them, and that little lounge you can hang out in. But for some reason, LA is more down. more getting down to business. Yeah, that was fast. That was super fast. Did we get a clock on that? <laughs> and why isn't my phone going off? It's four. It's way past four nineteen. Um, yeah. Oh, that's why. Because I'm waiting for four nineteen. This is gonna be the longest episode ever. Because I didn't set. Okay, so it's uh, it's twenty after. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get it hit these things with our friends in the uh, central time zone. I noticed some comments last time, Doug, that, uh, when I was on the show. People didn't think I was hitting it. Uh, because I was able to converse. Right. So people were like, Greg, you didn't take a big hit. And I said to my wife, I'm going to prove them taking a big hit. And she's like, how are you going to prove? And this is how. <laughs> right? That's your French inhale. I don't know why everything that's not American is French, but it is. Right? It's not a Dutch inhale. It should be. <laughs> <laughs> it should be a total the Amsterdam. It's a Swedish surprise. Mm. Although this was described to me once, <laughs> when you hand one off, <laughs> did you do all right here? Try this. Yeah. I took one. Like that's it. how many do I take? Oh, oh, as many as you can. Just as many as you can for the next for the next 40, 40 minutes. <laughs> just put one finger out. Yeah. Right? And then I, that's called the DC pass. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? A guy told me that in, high, in college. He was from DC. When you put your one out and you take that out, that's the DC pass. <laughs> Strong, ain't it? <laughs> Fuck. This is the next 45 minutes, Mike. So are these all different? Are supposed to be sweating? But <laughs> some water. Uh, What's that one, Dougie? This is a uh, Hong Kong Foony. <laughs> <laughs> and um, there's some indica in there if you want to finish her off. Oh, sure. Apologies for not giving you the green hit. <laughs> it's okay. I'll, t I'll take the, uh, the bad the ash hit. Is there a thingy on there? Yeah, there is, uh -huh. of course. My goodness, this one's elaborate. This is like milky and alien bovine. <laughs> and you, have to, uh, you have to take it easy on that one because uh, that's where the rubber thing on the end of the lighter really comes in handy. Because you because you'll just you'll take a hit that'll last forever if you uh, just let it go naturally, without releasing the carb and stuff. Look at you go. Meager. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't much left in there. We could we could load it up again for you. Uh, or, does this one have to live? On or one of these other ones? Sit, right? It's it's. That's what we've been saying is it needs some sort of, it needs to come with a stand and maybe it, it totally did. Totally does. It might have. Do these have names? I mean, do, like, do you, did you name them? This one like comes with a name, name but the, most of them I name. Uh, this one also came with a name. This is the uh, Big Lebowski pipe. Right? Ah, Cause for the dude. It's shaped like a bowling pin. You want to try that? No, I Which is hilarious that. because in the Big Lebowski, he never used a pipe as I recall. Wasn't it always little roaches and shit like that? <laughs> yeah, he was always just scraping by with the... <laughs> This one the needed to be clean. Meagerest. Uh, <laughs> oh, that, that thing's been a mess for a long time. Wow. I just, I just brought it in because it's... It's just got uh, Audrey Lander's backwash here. <laughs> most of these... Most of these pipes have uh, just got used... They started... We started using them on this show. Yeah, I mean... Here. But this one was a hold home pipe button. for a long time, so hold it's the disgusting. Thing at the top there, right at the bottom. Yeah. The and then when do I... Wait, when do I release the button? Just after you've inhaled a little okay, bit. Okay, After you've sucked in a little bit. A little bit there. We'll just touch that. Now let the button go. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Fuck. You're, That's you're, like the uh, first hit scene in every movie where yeah, somebody right. takes their first hit. <laughs> where like in Animal House, he blew out all the candles. Yeah. <laughs> this one's nice. Uh, it was so nice. <laughs> <laughs> So you know, Michael, I like you, it. when you do this afterward, you need to have like a movie queued up or a book that you really like that you can read easily. 
you know, like the cat in the hat, or one <laughs> fish, two fish, or something. So that something you know, with really big words. Yeah, so you don't get too challenged. The Harry right. Potter words on the page are a little bigger than normal, yeah. aren't they? Harry Potter's good because the type is gigantic. Ugh. And those names of all the characters will make you. You don't want to pick up some arcane, you know, uh, 17th century tome that's written in little letters because you'll never get through it. At well, that's time. all I brought with me was arcane I 17th know. century tomes. <laughs> I know how you roll. My <laughs> illuminated Franciscan manuscripts are going to go to waste now. No, no, those are even better because if you don't wear the gloves, you can run your hand over the illuminations and it gives you a different... Oh my goodness, look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, the sativa, by the way, today is Fire OG, so that may make Fire you understand. OG? Fire OG. O uh, the letter's OG? Mm -hmm. Got it. But just the word fire, I, that, that would be... Uh, I, I'm glad I didn't tell you that until after you took a few hits. It's Was that the fire? Sativa. What's that? Really? It says indica blue cheese on my card. Wow. How'd I quit? <laughs> a, a show about pot with their technical mess ups? <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Can you believe it? This is going as smoothly as Up in Smoke 2. <laughs> Never finished. <laughs> Never. Thank you, sir. Never finished. There was a, they were trying to shoot it in Vietnam, and they had to get out of there. Um, what do you think about? <laughs> yes, Doug. What's your favorite? Like, Greg gets high all the time, so uh, well, occasionally. You mentioned books. When the sun's up and whatnot, <laughs> mornings are harsh. You get up, there's birds everywhere. Fuck it, right? You mentioned uh, <laughs> you mentioned books, yes. and uh, what else do you? And movies. Oh, movies and books. Yeah. Do oh, you like books. to be high at a movie at the cinema? I do. I don't mind that at all. Uh, I like it at home, though, because then you can have all your stuff around you and whatnot. Uh, like watch a TCM, you know, maybe watch some old movies. or Like we were talking about Willy Wonka last time, the, the, but there's so many groovy uh, pictures. If you've never seen Pulp Fiction or, or uh, Jackie Brown or those kind of movies, those are amazingly fun on weed. And you actually kind of feel more like you're one of the characters in the movie, I think, because they're <laughs> right. often very high. They are. Yeah. You're like Eric Stoltz. Yeah. You're like Eric, or uh, uh, um, Bridget Fonda. Mm -hmm. Who gets high constantly through Jackie? And never worked again. Like she just know. disappeared. She's quite good in that one. I yeah. liked her. Yeah. I liked her too. Yeah. Um, but I do that, or listen to music, or if it's late at night and it's after the gig, uh, YouTube and just watch old videos of like Ohio players or whatever funk bands from the '70s, stuff like that. That's and do you click it so it goes full screen, or you just watch the little? No, square? no, I go full screen. I, yeah. I'll watch the whole thing. Smart. I'll watch Brothers Johnson, Strawberry Letter Twenty Three. I didn't discover that you could do that for a long time. What about? <laughs> Uh, tonight at CineFamily, is it yes, tonight? Yes, that's right. Uh, here in Los Angeles, there's plenty of time, Los Angelinos or Riversideans, <laughs> to uh, come out. Uh, tickets are still available? Uh, I, I think there's a couple left. Yeah. Uh, what, is, what is the event? I'm uh, over at the CineFamily. Uh, Doug does um, the Doug Benson movie Interruption over there. Mm -hmm. And every month I do the Greg Proops Film Club over there, and we show different pictures. Last month we showed uh, I Married a Witch. Uh, with Veronica Lake and Frederick March, a very funny 40s Halloween comedy because it was Halloween. And then uh, this this month is uh, the black exploitation classic uh, Coffee with Pam Greer mm. and Sid Haig, directed by James Hill, 1973. And I was looking up all the movies from 73, and it's um, Serpico. And uh, there's a lot of really shit was gritty. Yeah, yeah, shit was a really lot of gritty now, movies yeah. right then. And then uh, yeah, and it's a it's a it's a revenge movie, and it's a very hilariously Coffee is a wildly anti drug movie. Um, her sister's dosed by the gang and. Everyone dies of heroin and this and that, and so she uh, is. They they shoot her up to punish her and this and that, and so she kills everybody one by one with a dazzling variety of firearms. And that may be the ending of this episode of <laughs> Getting Doug with I'm Hot. hoping that you realize that we've been doing you wrong and that we've, 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 we've changed the course of your life today. That is not right for you. Now, do you comment during the film? Or you're just screaming. I don't. Doug does the commenting during his. Doug films. won't shut up during his. No, films. that's why it's called the interruption. And, but mine, uh, I talked before. Uh, for about you know half an hour, twenty minutes, and then then we show the picture, and uh, then afterward we kind of kick it around for a few minutes, and that's the whole enchilada. It's and brilliant. Then, he takes questions about a movie he had nothing to do with. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, don't know. I wrote and produced this movie. It's from 1946. It's called The Big Sleep. Um, and uh, yeah, so J Doug's been a couple times. Uh, Annie Hall, and I believe uh, we last Christmas we showed uh, What's Up Doc, which is a very funny. Barbara Streisand comedy. I know a lot yeah, of people are shaking big it's, it's, it's like it's like a, a you know a humorous Whoopi Goldberg novel. But uh, no, it, it, it's a very funny Barbara Streisand comedy. And the thing about what, I'd read a book written by her. I would too. I love Whoopi. But the, uh, the What's a Daka, as you pointed out to me on the night, 
uh, is hilariously funny. It's uh, done in the screwball style, like a 30s movie, so it's pacey as fuck. But there's not one swear word in that movie, and it's still hilarious. What about funny. cunt? Do they say cunt? No, no, not one. So even that it, was the working title. What's up, cunt? What's up, cunt? <laughs> but uh, they decided to go with uh, you know a more reputable <clears throat> yeah. thing like a doctor. But I thought it, it played like the Dickens with the crowd, and that's what uh, was so gratifying. Is like you show a movie that's forty something years old that has Barbara Streisand and Ryan O'Neill in it, and the crowd was literally crying tears of laughter through the whole thing. And he's like, a doctor of rocks, like he studies ooh. rocks. Oh, he's a geologist. Yes, a musical geologist. But that's, that's why she insane. says "What's up, Doc?" to him because she's such a crazy character. Yeah, oh, she's she's eating a carrot at the time. That's yeah, very funny. Um, she also orders room service in the hallway, which is something I've always tried to do in, in hotels. It's such a great scam. It's such a great scam, Isn't but, it? but uh, you know now it wouldn't work. No, they always, she calls downstairs. They know which room you're calling right. from, and uh, mm, mm -hmm. she's hungry, and she mm -hmm. calls downstairs and goes, "I need this." She orders a big meal. Set it up to three forty nine, but leave it in the hallway. I'm in the shower or something, right. and so we're up. I just put the little one to sleep. Yeah, I just put the little ones to sleep. That's what it is. That's what I use on people. When people are being noisy out in the hallway, I stick my head out and go, the baby. Yeah. <laughs> right, because they can't say anything to that. Like, fuck you and your baby. Yeah. I don't care if babies make oh, up. Oh, all I'm right. Kind of yeah, but if they're drunk, they'll keep yelling. They don't care. <clears throat> so that's what we're showing this week, and thank you for asking. Uh, and it should be good fun. Uh, yeah. We only have two criteria. Coffee, come on down for a cup, you guys. Yeah. A, a cup of ultraviolence. Cinefamily.org. She's the first black superhero, I think, really, especially black woman superhero that's an avenging angel. And the last. Mm. Yeah, because she did it again in Jackie Brown, and now no one else will do it. No, but I mean, Pam Greer is the first and last. Well, there was Tamara Dobson, and there was uh, there was loads of other black exploitation pictures. Sure, sure, great. <laughs> there was. That's why it's not the Michael Ian Black Film Club. His is there cool. was uh, Foxy Cleopatra, played by Beyonce Knowles. Yeah. Um, in the movie uh, Gold Member Part Three, or whatever that one was. Yeah, yeah, Austin awesome Powers yeah. and a Gold Member. That character didn't really fly. No, no, no that was He not. liked eating his own toenails. Yeah, didn't like That was his ground. thing. <laughs> That's not one I'd watch. The one guy is like, million dollars, and he ate his own toenails. <laughs> yeah. He nice. kept them in a, no, he kept, no, it wasn't his toenails. He'd peel off his own skin oh, so and gross. save it. That was where the joke fell apart for me. Well, right <laughs> after the credits, and I realized what I was watching, then I kind of went, oh. I so, how are you feeling, Michael? You know, Oh, there's the ashtray. I can't say I feel uh, uh, distinctly different. Really? You, yeah. So it just, it made you cough Not a lot. With that oh, attitude. I coughed the shit out of it. Yeah, and then, but then you didn't feel like any kind of instant change or no. gradual change? No. Not so much. Not so much. Really? Well, how do you feel? No, I, I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna, <laughs> it's gonna go, show it's is. gonna go from zero to dead, and I don't wanna be dead. You're not gonna die. Right? That's, that would be interesting if you're like, I don't, you know, I can't, I feel it, I can't feel it, I can't feel it, and then it just, Leapfrogs right to it kills you. <laughs> there's a, there's a paramedic on duty here. I you know, saw like, someone wearing a very You're official the first hat. guy ever that <laughs> California weed doesn't get high and then it murders you. Uh, uh, when I was in Amsterdam, the very first time I did it, my wife and I ate pot brownies. My wife. Uh, alive? Is that what you said? Mm -mm. Oh, a lie. Mm -mm. What did you say? My wife. Oh, my wife. <laughs> I thought you were saying a lie because Michael Ian Black, Michael Ian Black, obviously gay. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> We went to Amsterdam, ate pot brownies. I waited like 45 minutes, nothing happened. Yeah. So I said, go buy us a joint. She did. We smoked that. Cut to. Cut to, um, uh, I'm hearing somebody screaming. Right. And, and she's screaming, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. And I don't know where the voice is coming from. And I realize I'm unconscious. Wow. And she's the one screaming. And she's going to the guy, is he gonna die, is he gonna die, is he gonna die? And the guy said, nobody ever died from pot. Yeah. And That's I did. true though. So you and your but wife you really, are out of control. You're really <laughs> trying to die from pot. I mean, I didn't know. By showing up here today, that's like, uh, that's really amazing that I'm, pot almost killed you once and you're still willing to try this again. Because like responsibility. unlike so many of my arch conservative Republican brethren, I have an open mind about things. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone mind taking my pulse? There was a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of different kinds of words in that sentence. That's what I love about you, man. You're, you're like so. That's sort of proof it's not working right there. Right? So you said something. I took that my seemed extremely smart. I took my stevia and. Uh, I think you are high. I think with you, it manifests itself in the just even more paranoia. But I don't even feel paranoid. I don't. Even, mm. I, maybe a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, right. people aren't laughing at me, are they? Well, clearly not. Um, <laughs> So the uh, the group, the state. What do you put it? What do you put them at? Like maybe forty, sixty in terms uh, of in what? In terms of weed. Oh. Uh, Kevin Less. Allison must smoke a ton, right? Uh, maybe. Uh, uh, yeah, I, there were eleven people in the state. I would say right now there's probably at most three regular smokers. All right. Well, let's we'll get their names from you after the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, why wait? We'll call them. You could say them right now. No. Because um, uh, you know we need people. Right. You know, it's... Uh, is it hard to book this show? It is, strangely. I mean, for one thing, people that are working, uh, it's hard, hard to have them come in in the afternoon like this. So that's, right. that's one stumbling block. But then the big, the really big stumbling block is that people just don't want to get high on camera. Right. For various reasons. Right. But well, comedians especially, a lot of them, they won't get high before they go on stage either because they don't want to... That comedians, the last thing you want is to not feel in control. I've, I drink very little. I've, I've had a drink or two before a show a couple times and I hated it. I, wasn't, I, I didn't even feel particularly drunk, but just that, just that tiny bit of, of your brain not quite working at full peak. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, like a, a, I, like cool I like a cocktail or two before going on stage. Not, I don't want to be drunk, but I like to, I like to get the, the ball rolling mm -hmm. uh, and then you know, drink while I'm on stage and then smoke before and after. Now, I've heard Doug Stanhope always goes on stage straight. Is that wrong? That makes sense. It might be true. Yeah. And it maybe goes up with his first drink and starts drinking because he drinks on stage. It doesn't, it doesn't you know, it's, it works both ways. I mean, you know, I, I'll have a drink or get high before the show, or I won't. And, 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 and they're both you, equally shitty. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, the audience weighs in on both. Yeah. <laughs> Boring, Greg. You should have got high. And then, oh, Still. Well, you're high. You shouldn't have got so high. <laughs> Right, they there's always, there's always, yeah, whenever you fail, it's always, they should have been the other. Like, whenever I don't like a movie, I, I get all these tweets from people, you weren't high enough. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and if I love something they don't like, they're like, yo, you were too high. You know, you just liked it because you're high. Yeah, a movie should work when you're not high. Yeah. If you have to get too high to see a movie, <clears throat> then it's not a good movie. And I hope everybody watching is high enough to enjoy this break. We'll be right back. If we're gonna do it live in front of an audience, why not go for full-blown train wreck? Where do we do weed bits into this? How come Dope they on marijuana. You know, dabs make them sound a lot more harmless than they are. Yeah. Just a dab. <laughs> Flaming balls of Kathy Lee Gifford. <laughs> Did you say 31? Harris, that's insane. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> and so the camera's there. I say it. They started WWW. Don't mean to trouble you, trouble you, trouble you. <laughs> the end. The end of whatever that idea was going to be. Let's end it now. I was going to tell him something during the break that all the viewers already know. Jack Black had a had a hard time, strangely. Is he not a, a regular? He user? had quit for a while. Uh, you know, and had what, kids and whatnot. How did that uh, manifest itself when he had a hard time? Oh, um, you know, uh, for, first thing he did was close his eyes. Mm -hmm. Wow, it was just kind of like this for a while. That was like pretty soon after the first hit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> then there was a lot of spare, chair spinning. Wow. Uh, the, top, the topic changed frequently. He yelled out the uh, safe word. Uh -huh. Sure. <laughs> Which was? Cantaloupe. Cannonball? Cantaloupe. 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 I love it. Cannonball is my safe word because it means I'm about to jump into the pool. Okay. Uh, so stop me. Um, yeah, he, he had a rough time, uh -huh. but it was 
all in good fun. He, he felt bad about it. I told him not to. Because it's pot isn't for everybody, you know? I keep thinking it's going to be for me. I keep hoping. Well, I'm glad I, you gave it another try with us. And um, I think the viewers want you to smoke some more. Ugh. <laughs> 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 this is, I'm gonna put this on the table uh, henceforth and from now on, because I'm not really a pot, uh, pipe, necklace kind of guy. But uh, Tommy Chong gave me this. Well, wow. there's so, every reason to wear it. So. so there it is. Well, I just did for a little while. And I've got my Smoked Within Gallo shirt on. Nice. Yeah. I can certainly rest in peace, well, I have Tommy more Chong. Too. Rest in peace, Tommy Chong, yeah. really? Dancing with the Stars? Yes. <laughs> I've been worried that he's just gonna he drop over. Off. Oh, did he's he? In great shape. <laughs> Both he really got guys. the boot though for sure? I don't think he's booted yet. I, I think like he's still six, on. Yeah, I feel like six months ago he did. No, no, no. Man. He's still on. He's still on. <laughs> he's still at it. Daniel's gonna look it up. Daniel has ties with ABC television. Yeah. So he's gonna get the information. That's very cool that Tommy Chong gave you that. Immediately. I love it. Um, over 2,000 people watching us as we speak. Was that good? The live feed. It is for never being on at this time. They all figured it out somehow. Mm -hmm. So that worked out pretty good. And then uh, I'm sure we'll have a lot more by the end because they're all telling their friends, you should see this guy, Michael Ian Black. Not fucked up. He is just tearing it up. I, uh, He's still I, on. I do, I, I do Tommy feel- Tommy Chong is still on. Oh, he is? Breaking news. Yes. He is. I do feel a little uh, off. I will give you that. Okay, so it's more like, um, and probably in a not pleasant way? It's not bad, but- Oh, okay, that's good. No. <laughs> You're not gonna smoke anymore? Just give me, give me a minute. Wow. Okay. The show's <laughs> only minute. 45 minutes long. Yeah, but I love- It I already love feels longer than that, though. being great, because I, I can be I the, think yelling no- I can be the, the good cop. Your voice really puts everyone at their ease, Michael. <laughs> um, this cantaloupe, is a, cantaloupe! Exactly. This isn't a drug den where you're being held by gangsters. This no, is more a, cantaloupe. Yeah. <laughs> Blueberry! Yeah. Oh, he's in he's the semi-finals. And, he he's, he's, and he's murdering he's, it. He can monster. dance, kind of, but it's the, it's the uh, stoners voting for him that's making it happen. Uh, why not? Because the judges give him pretty shitty numbers. Oh, I see. Isn't yeah. it about time we took back the night, everybody? <laughs> I'm a little tired it. of these, uh, you know, robots winning everything. It's about time to put a 70 year old stoner back. Wait, Carlton from uh, French Prince is, is a robot? Because well, he's going to win this thing and he's, he's he good. He can dance, though. Yeah, he can. That's cheating. Just right? as good as it's he cheating wants. when they walk in the door as a dancer? Yeah. Okay. He did the Carlton for one and two. I think he's in a Michael Jackson video as well. Yeah, he is. Yeah. You know you're dancing with the Stars Group. Proof. I don't. I never watched it in my life, but I do know that Tommy Chong's on because I follow up. I have a Tommy Chong news feed in my Google glasses. Google glasses. He goes like this all the time when when they introduce him and stuff. Oh, he does. <laughs> he's got his little <laughs> he's got his pot gesture that he does yeah. to get get that in there. That's, That's probably like, why it passed in those in he's all the those Sammy states. Sosa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's got signals. Um, this person wants to know from Twitter, Tawny Twitain <laughs> wants to name. know, uh, Michael, what's the weirdest place you've ever made banana noises? Well, banana noises is a thing I, I do on, uh, in, whenever I'm in a quiet situation and, and, and it feels awkward to me or like I want to be a dick, I make a banana noise, which is just, <laughs> but just sort of loud enough. This is not loud enough that it it's can be It's not the noise the banana makes. It's well, the noise someone makes while having a banana. Yeah, well, yeah, because clearly bananas don't speak. They're very it's, quiet. It, it's the sound you make when you eat a banana. And, you, and I just do it loudly enough so that people can clearly hear I'm doing it, but it's not obvious that I'm, that I know that I'm doing it. That's the balance you have to find with the banana noises. And then Where's what, the oddest place what, you've done it then? Yeah, what, where? Uh, right, I think right here and now. Really? I mean, given the circumstances, yeah. It's pretty odd. Oh, we got a bug in here now too. Who invited them? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's do some pot topics, you guys. Yeah. Okay. Um, our good friends in the uh, New York Police Department mm -hmm. have finally ended their uh, Officer O'Malley, uh -huh. Officer Delaney. Krupke. Krupke. <laughs> uh, beginning. Starsky. Not Krupke's the worst. <laughs> beginning. Uh, he something to run me in the other day. Starsky for... sucks too, but Hutch yeah. is pretty cool. Oh no, Hutch is great. Hutch is all right. Popeye Doyle. Uh, <laughs> beginning November 19th. Uh, which was soon, right? A week? Yeah. Um, New York City, uh, the new policy would be that you get a ticket instead of jail time for people found with 
25 grams or less. You can have this much on you, like even probably just pinned on, walking around New York and all you're gonna get the first time you get caught is a $100 ticket. Sweet. Yeah. Second time, 250. Really? And also they give you a big dunce cap because oh, no. how could that happen twice? <laughs> Third time. You have to spend the weekend in Staten Island. Yeah, I mean, isn't isn't basically the only, one of the only things every heavy pot smoker owns is a scale? Like, wouldn't that be easy to figure out and then adjust from there? Or when you buy it, I guess you always buy it in. I go to a goldsmith down the block from my house and they weigh it out for me using ingots. I find I get a more accurate count that way. I love it. And this is also oregano because that's what they said they had on the... Uh... You asshole. When I bought that from you, you said it was dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but thanks for loaning it to me for the, uh, for the presentation. How round. Yeah. Um, so did I cover it right? Uh, first ticket's 100 And you know, you also how have much... to go in and appear before a judge. So it's... How much would that cost You don't want to get caught. What? How much would that cost me in New York? 25 ounces of pot. New Good York. Pot. Yeah, New let's York. say New York. 600, 700. Wow, that's 500 cool. at least. Yeah, it'd be pretty expensive. I've never get bought. That's why I don't think anyone's walking around New York with that much well, on them if they're not LA, selling. If they're LA, not it's selling a lot it. cheaper. It's also like grams, not ounces. Like it depends on where you go. Grams. I guess the delivery services could just make shorter trips. But and, wait, uh, in LA, how much is this? You know, not have that much on them. Um, I don't know. I don't. I never buy that much. Like I can tell you how much this would 200? be. Two hundred. Yeah. This is probably about 50, wow. 60 bucks right here. And l one, one last question. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. If I'm a regular pot smoker, how long is this lasting me? That's oregano, so uh, forever, really. <laughs> we'll, never, we'll never get to it. Just say no. Um, yeah, I, I couldn't tell you. I just I don't keep good uh, stats on that sort you know. of thing. How long ago? Uh, it's probably like three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks, he says. So that's not a very, I mean, that's not, that's not an expensive habit. Too much. If, I mean, if you're a celebrity, it's not that much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. If you're a celebrity, your uh, marijuana is pretty easy to uh, come by. Oh, that's all drink to I that. fought for mine. <laughs> I took a balloon over the wall with my family. <laughs> it was deep. And then when we got there, there was no purple Kush OG. Is uh, that really a name? I made it up. I just combined the different, it's like blueberry, unicorn, licorice, redundant, everlasting, moonbeam, you know, berry winkle, fine, Shasta Farms, <laughs> dank. If we just sit here and watch, how long will this go on for? <laughs> well, well, forever, really. They always have fanciful, hilarious names. Ow. And then they've added diesel and a few other, like, kind of, uh, not very pot terms to me. That right. Seem like yeah, diesel white. and <laughs> yeah, the, the, the wording. I wish we could just start from scratch and like have yeah. gentler words. But uh, well, we, when I was in high school, it was red and gold. Yeah. Oh. And then we branched out from there. Wow. Then there was Maui, Wowie, and whatnot. And then the Vietnam War happened, and then I found my then Alaskan <laughs> thunderfuck. Uh, Scott Wasilik, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. 24 was arrested on possession of marijuana charges when police searched his home after arriving there because his roommate had stabbed him in the chest. So this guy, they're coming to help save this guy who's been stabbed in the chest and then find his stash and uh, arrested him for what it. What state was this? Um, not on the card. Wow, that's serious. I don't think it is. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know where this happened? Um, Do you guys know where the news is? <laughs> Don't bury the lead. No, Salt well, Lake with, City, the, Utah. with the Use pot hell. topics, we get something to talk about when we wonder what the hell <laughs> it all means. But uh, the, um, the dude has Crohn's disease and a medical marijuana card. And after a year, the judge threw out the uh, marijuana evidence, meaning it cannot be used against him in his trial. So he's still going to have a trial? For Crohn's being stabbed. For being stabbed. Well... That's, we'll have to keep up on that one. <laughs> yeah, tell us what's going on with that. This one confused me too, a little bit. What's the Cannabis Grand Crew, C-R-U? What does the word crew even mean? San Jacinto, San Jacinto? Crew is Steve Carell's character in... No, but the guy San Jacinto, which I guess is in California. Despicable me? It's in California? Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, but what's a crew? Back up and tell me that. Cannabis Grand Crew. It's a convention, but what's your... It's a convention. I don't know why it's called crew, though. Anyway, it's an event that they're going to have at the Sky Hotel in Aspen. 
Mm -hmm. Which that sounds delightful. A weed event in Aspen. Oh, are they going to do a crew there? It's like, yeah. I heard about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. I think they're doing a grand crew over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is in fact an accruement. There you go. Um, and the uh, the event was uh, had an outdoor smoking area, but the city officials have ruled that part of it illegal. Oh. So. Spoil Sports City Aspen officials. You don't yeah. very much, by the way, in Aspen. Also, like, wild. where's my you're refund? Not I'm not going to go to the event. Like, you go to an event in Colorado that's weed-based, thinking you're going. That's where you're really going to get to smoke. It sounded yeah. like the problem was that they were smoking outside. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. I guess they could hotbox inside the the building that they rent or whatever. Maybe. So now I'm back in. I'm going. What? New Jersey was where you said. Oh, this was New Jersey. Oh. <laughs> now it makes a little bit more sense because. Oh, Right, when you say ask that he you got arrested clarify. for possession, that's probably not happening as much in people's homes in California, especially when they've just been stabbed. But could go in New Jersey. They're tough on crime there. I grew up in New Jersey. I have nothing to add, but I just No, you you're see, that's I'm doing great. You're doing so great. You're sure you're not high. I already said I felt a little off, but I don't feel like I don't I don't I mean, joy, you don't feel joy or relation. I'm, I'm, I'm incapable of joy. Okay. <laughs> so pot's not That's already off the table. <laughs> right. So we should smoke some more, Greg. Right. Um, and the FBI's annual uniform crime report, that's where the FBI gets together and they all wear their uniforms yep. and, and write this report. Yeah, uh, was released Monday morning and shows that marijuana arrests are down 8% from last year. Um, Sweet, do they know where we are? Uh, there were 639,000 arrests That's last year, and I mean uh, this year, and 749 last year. 693. What I say? 639. Listen, you uh, if you if you want the real pot news, just turn on uh, Tom Brokaw. <laughs> <laughs> when he comes I out couldn't of think of any. Who's the current news people? Brian Not Williams. Diane Sawyer. Yeah, you got Brian your, Williams. You got your course. Brian Williams, and then you get your other ones. I get my news from uh, Peter Jennings. Anson Williams. Yeah. You got Walter Cronkite. Like, Potsy, what's up? And he's like, sit on it. Right, sit on it. <laughs> I get that reference. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'll take another hit out of this baby. And, this one's uh, the Mayan Destroyer. Oh, that's a fun name. And now someone's going to start a Twitter oh, account see. called the Mayan Destroyer. The antics of the Mayan Destroyer is it wins its way through Los Angeles. Last night I was in the hills. What a party. I had so many actresses' mouths on me. Day two. It's got that Quetzal, you know, feathery. Speaking design. of actresses' mouths. <laughs> yes. Have you seen that picture in Entertainment Weekly of Tina Fey and uh, Lindsay Lohan next to each other? I have not. Both smiling? No. Yeah. Uh, one of them's <laughs> aged a lot better than the other one. <laughs> You're saying Tina Fey's aged a lot better? Yeah, because Lindsay's doing it a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. It's a really weird picture. No, I haven't seen it yet. It's a bummer. Well, I'll go on the tabs. And uh, Sorry, I brought it up. I admit, okay. I was, I flew, I was flying today. I admit to spending more than a minute, maybe as many as four minutes, looking at the naked Kim Kardashian butt today. Oh yeah, the butt is gigantic. It, I mean, I guess first, she's mostly butt. She's, I don't think it's. I, <laughs> she's ninety percent butt, that yeah. lady. She's butt based, definitely. <laughs> she's all based about butt much. base. Yeah. No trouble. <laughs> uh, yeah, she, that's a crazy <coughs> picture. Um, it scared me. They showed it covered up on the on the view today. Mm. They put up. like a circle over the crack, right. you know, wow. so you could kind of see that it's her butt or whatever. But the circle actually it makes it a little filthier because then you can right. It looks like she's got rectum. a giant butthole. <laughs> <laughs> wow, she's got a giant blue butthole. A Take a little time to enjoy <laughs> the view. Holy cow! <laughs> uh, we got to go to another break already, you guys. This is crazy. Crazy. Goes by so fast, right? Yeah. What are you, what are you oh. showing? Oh, there's the, the Kim, Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Oh, you brought it up for us? We, we were talking about how we all saw it. Oh. Well, Thanks, though. I'm, oh, they well, how we, we're going to hold up your computer to the camera? <laughs> oh, my God. Technology, right? He's one of the only people in here that's not high. He's <laughs> high now. Right, that's true. This, All uh, right. You, uh, you should call this the contact crew, is what this is. <laughs> um, during the first break, I think you saw clips from the... Um, uh, uh, past episodes of uh, getting uh, with high live at Largo, of one of which Greg did, and uh, tickets are on sale for the next one, which is a week from Monday, November twenty fourth at nine o'clock. Um, and uh, what's this next commercial for? Oh, our friends at Buddy Hitter. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, this little fella right here that comes in uh, any color you want, practically, oh. is called the Buddy Power Hitter. And it'll give Shit. you some big, fat hits, y'all. Dude, it's a shotgunner, bro. Ow. Shotgunner. <laughs> a weed bubby. Whoa. Oh my god. Buddy. This buddy rules, man. <laughs> Another great thing about the buddy is you knock it over and nothing happens. All right, how about this? How about nothing this? breaks or spills. Oh, no, I bro. love my buddy. <laughs> There goes the Enterprise. <laughs> uh, thank you for staying with us. We've got uh, Michael Ian Black having one of his first real stone, stoned experiences. How you feeling? I think the last hit I took. That really did it? You may have you awakened the other For hits. once in your life, you're feeling high? I think so. Oh, boy. Well done, Michael. You'll find it's a relaxing feeling if you don't freak out. I wish well, only great I things out? for you. Because if you great did. things happen to you, this wasn't this wasn't a problem. No, and you then you I mean if things go badly now, then people can point to this and blame us. And is the, as the gateway. Does you would well, be owed ten percent yeah. of every future high that I had. <laughs> <laughs> um, since you are officially high, and Greg and I both, of course, are high, let's. It's time for Gabe to come out and do a magic trick. It's Gabe time. Do we have to move? No, he'll come right to you. Oh, oh, oh I'm, yes. I see. I see how it's going. Hey, Greg, hey, hey, Greg how you doing, Michael? All right. Do me a favor and pick a card, any card. All right, I'll take this card. Okay, perfect. Show it to Greg and Jake over here. Ten of clubs. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is place it back in the center. Uh, is that fair? Subject. What you don't see is that there's a string that comes up through the deck, so if I pull on the string like that, your card comes back to the top. <clears throat> Watch, I'll do it again. All right. Into the center, pull the string, back to the top. Oh, that's very good. Nice. Thank you very much. Place your hand out like a table for me, a small table. Did you show us in the beginning that uh, it was a regular deck of cards? I can, if you want. Well, I mean, I'll do that right, after the I mean, I'm saying for, for the betterment of the trick, yeah. right? You, you got to establish, I mean, because I'm thinking it's just a deck of eight of hearts. No, the deck show you at the end. You show me at the end. <laughs> well, that's Make fair. Make a table hand. <laughs> <laughs> Make a table hand. Place your hand out. Table hand. The other way. All right, perfect. I'll take your card, place it inside this fan. Place those there, uh -huh. push it in, pull the string. All right. Oh, wait, I think it's on. Ah! Oh, I did the magic. Okay. I'm going to do one more thing, Michael. All right, push that card in for me. Yeah. <laughs> That's very good. Oh! Thank you. Fantastic, Gabe. Great work, Gabe. That was a marathon magic session. He still session. didn't show us that it wasn't, I mean, we just saw the one, the five of spades, but we didn't see the others. Yeah, it's probably they, every card. He's now showing it. He's nope. showing it. That so, is a regular deck of cards. You know, magic in front of skeptics is one of the greatest events you'll see, and it's going to be in the next Olympics. <laughs> They're just going to have a bunch of disbelievers sit, and a bunch of other people come up and go, this is actually illusion. <laughs> I don't remember what city it happened in, but a gentleman gave me this out on the road, and, I, and he attached to it, Doug, I want to pay you to endorse this product, call me and his number, uh, Alex, and it's the Buddy uh, Power Hitter, and um, so this is, the, this is the one that got the whole thing started, but we have another one ready to go here, and uh, Gabe, since uh, Magic was so uh, awesome today, do you want to come out and... Uh, Hit this. You can uh, pinch hit for Michael, sure. <laughs> and uh, d you know do this thing. You know how it works, right? I don't know how to start it. I don't. Know. Yeah, you just light it, and then you put it in the thing, and then uh, yeah, just make sure that you're. Like a make sure you're. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> There's coaching from the sidelines here. Yeah. Gabe is a practice is illusionist. Like, <laughs> Whatever he's doing, he's doing because he's two steps ahead of you. People are yelling out, do it this way. <laughs> See, look, you made smoke come Oh, look at that thing. That's crazy. I, we crazy had this in the 70s. They're called power hitter. What is it called now? Buddy? Buddy. Buddy batting BB? <laughs> buddy power hitter. Baby buddy. It's I can't working. do it right, though. <laughs> <laughs>
What, what, what's the advantage is. of that over anything else? It uses the pot oh, man. swiftly. The goddamn advantages never end. For one thing, if you're out uh, outside, uh, the wind doesn't affect your joint right. at all. You can just fucking go to town on this though, uh -huh. as long as you want. And maybe, then uh, maybe you, maybe uh, you need some ketchup. You take one of those. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Yeah, you got it. There's a carby thing on there. Did I ask for advice from everyone else in the room? I'm a fully self-contained unit of comedy up here. When I come out there and gaze stonedly at my fucking computer for 45 minutes while other people are working, I like I like that that you threw in the up here at the end. I'm I'm blah 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 up here, down there in this floor <laughs> area where we are. Yeah. <laughs> No, um, not a chance. Not a chance. Oh, well, we can just shoot it at you. That's the other thing that's yeah, great about it, is you can just it. force yeah, it on people me. and just go right into their dumb mouths. <laughs> <laughs> These are very wild, the power hitter. Baby buddies. I like it. Biggie buddies. Why something like that retail I'm down for? with it. Uh, I think it's about 19 bucks, but mm -hmm. you can get one for free. You get two for one when you use the promo code uh, getting no, done. No, I'm not crazy. If you take a, just a plastic ketchup bottle, you put a hole in it, isn't it the same thing? This is what I try to warn everybody that would happen when people want to do these live on the air with the products. <laughs> people, is yeah. The comedians are always going to find but I wanna know. every flaw that they can. It's not a flaw. And exploit, exploit it, it for the purposes of humor. Um, what was the question? It, yeah, you could, somebody could go to all that trouble and that's the great thing about stoners is a lot of them do, but others would just go, oh, I could just buy that and have it yeah. and do it. Like, I would say Like they do different. every week on getting dug with high. It seems to me the advantage, Doug, is that <laughs> it's that it's shaped in such a way so that the cubic volume towards the end tapers out, allowing you to get more smoke in. Nice one. <laughs> That's Clearly. a terrific one. I don't one. want to fuck up your sponsorship. If you Bigger, observe. thicker hits, it says right there. They should change yeah. that. Yeah, mm-hmm. Those, bigger, are, thicker those hits. are big ass hits we're getting. It comes out in a big hurry. Yeah. It also eases joints up real fast. It's not something you savor, it's a big <laughs> Let's see how the joint's doing. Yeah, let's see. Maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong. Not oh, bad. Oh, still sizable. Not bad. Good job. Bigger, bigger. Power buddy hitter. Um, Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Really good Thanks. show. Really fun. Got some plugs here for you. Uh, really good advice is a new talk show pilot with MIB and uh, a friend of this show, but not necessarily a pot smoker, Jen Kirkman, are uh, co-hosting a show where you give really good advice. Mm -hmm. uh, and so if you want to get advice and have some laughs, go to the taping uh, this Monday night at uh, Nerd Melt, which is uh, in the back of Meltdown Comics on Sunset Boulevard. And uh, tickets are free, and you can get them at, I hope we can put this up on the screen, it's uh, bit.ly.com slash RGA tickets. And RGA stands for really good advice. What time does that go down? Two shows, seven oh, and nine. There you go, that seven and bad. nine. Uh, Georgia. And boy, the She's nine o'clock show, you, if you have to stand in line for a little bit, if they're running a little late, you're in a comic book store. What is happening? You're in a, a comic book store while you're waiting in line. That's so right. it's terrific. Did, did the uh, viewers and listeners hear and see, We're see that? We're still alive. We're still on. But that was just to jump the gun on the ending. <laughs> I don't like that part anyway. I say thank you, goodbye, and then a video of me that we made a year ago comes up going, thanks for watching! <laughs> <laughs> Something you did the first week. <laughs> Something you wouldn't do again. Yeah, yeah, so everybody's probably sick of it. <laughs> people people try to stop it after? before it happens. Why don't you tape a new one? I was gonna say this, I, it's too bad there's nothing you can do about that. No, we can do a new one. <laughs> Let's remember to do that. <laughs> <laughs> The way to uh, go, though, Proops. is to do it identically to the first time. Right? Uh, yeah, I probably will. <laughs> no, I just don't. I Thanks don't, for watching. I don't, even, <laughs> I don't even know why it's there, really. Yeah. I mean, it's to remind everybody where, where they right. are right now. <laughs> Thanks for watching right where you're watching it. Yeah. Come back and watch it right here. Yeah. But first, um, this is today on yes. NBC. And Greg Proops podcast, The Smartest Man in the World. Uh, is available on iTunes along with the Greg Proops Film Club. You ever thought about putting Greg Proops Film Club in the film and TV category instead of the comedy category? Oh, should I? Is You'd shoot to the top of that chart, I believe. Really? That's my Thank guess. Thank you for that advice, Jack. You're welcome. I'm going to do that. GregProops.com. 
and his stand-up special live at Musso and Frank, which is uh, also in uh, Hollywood, uh, old school place. Yeah. That you did a uh, stand-up special in is available at gregproops.com. My special, Doug, Doug Dynasty, is uh, streaming on Netflix. And uh, this Thursday, I'm going to be doing stand-up at the Improv in Tempe. And uh, next week, I'll be at the Improv in Tampa. <laughs> That's that's Do you only great. That's great towns, routing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, and on New Year's Eve, I'll be at Cobb's in San Francisco. Greg will be at the Punchline yeah, in San Francisco. We're all in San Francisco. If you play it right, you can see both of us the same night. And all of my deets and dates and links are at douglovesmovies.com. Uh, Greg just gave me a. Well, that's uh, the Kittens McTavish is the mascot of our. I, should I. We don't. Is there somewhere we could put the sticker? That'd be kind of nice to add it to the uh, set somewhere, like maybe over there. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> See you uh, hopefully soon. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash Doug Benson.